We have some news. We have some news. Um, we're at the hospital with a giant yellow folder because we're having a baby. Um, so yeah, our family of three is uh, on its way to becoming a family of four. Um, or friend... five or six, we don't know yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, today is our 12 week dating scan and we're expecting kind of the due date to be early January, the 16th of January. So I guess we'll find out today. I'm a bit nervous, excited, and really need a wee. So, yeah. Yeah, that's our news. Come on. He's dilly-dallying. Oh man, Th this morning was just so emotional. Amazing, like absolutely amazing. I, I, I cannot believe that that tiny little buglet is in my belly. It has got arms and legs and was yawning and like doing somersaults and headstands in my belly. And I couldn't even feel it. <laughs> really just absolutely incredible. So yeah, this is why I've been a little bit off the radar recently. I'm pregnant. Um, I thought it was about 12 and a bit weeks and turns out I'm 14 weeks. So I'm due uh, kind of second week of January. Unless I'm early, then it could be that the baby's here this year, Ooh, uh, which is weird. Oh, I can't believe it. It's really nice to be able to talk about it now. Do not worry, I am not going to bore you to death with baby stuff. I have been vlogging kind of my pregnancy journey so far, which I'm going to put the vlogs out kind of over the next week or so to kind of keep you updated. So this will very much be uh, still my weekly vlogs with a little bit of maternity baby stuff in it because I guess that is what my life is now. Oh, this is a reason why I keep getting out of breath and short of breath is I can't talk. I was gonna say I'm walk, but I'm not even walking. <laughs> I'm not even moving, I'm sat on a chair for Christ's sake. Um, yeah, I keep getting real breathlessness. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna keep them very separate, but there'll be a little bit of pregnancy baby talk on my vlogs because that's what's happening in our lives right now. So code name for said baby at the moment is Buglet. Uh, that's what we're calling it because it's my little stomach bug. Um, I was just going to show you. We had a few pictures which I got. So let me just show you this one. That's what it looks like. Oh, it's got a big old head. So at the moment I am a size of a lemon and passing a lemon is making my eyes water enough. It's also the size of a baby chick this week. So this is the reason why I've been a little bit absent on my blog and on kind of social media in general and why I kind of took a week off on the vlogs which is because I was feeling pretty sick. I'll tell you what pregnancy is like guys. It's like having the longest hangover in history. You just feel fatigued, jet lagged. You feel a bit jet lagged. It's like that. It's like a hangover jet lag weirdness. It's very, very bizarre. Um, anyway, enough of that. So yeah, if you want to kind of keep up to date with my pregnancy, then watch my pregnancy vlogs. Um, and yeah, oh, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy times that we're now gonna become a family of four. Oh, a new little person. Oh, it's gotta come out. Makes me a bit nervous. <laughs> so I decided that tonight, I was going to make these for dinner. Mexican chicken burgers. But apparently they're really super easy to make uh, and ready within 20 minutes. So let's see BBC Good Food if that is a correct situation or not. <laughs> that was not the desired effect. Whoops, I avocadoed everywhere. My phone is not an Instagrammable situation. <laughs> yummers, yummers, yummers. Oh. Good 
Good morning, it is super early. I've just dropped the car off uh, first thing to the garage uh, to try and get the aircon done because I cannot bear the thought of another day in that sweat box. Heading up to North Norfolk, working uh, without aircon. But it's a little bit fresher today, so I've had to put a jumper on first thing this morning to nip and do that. So I'm just gonna walk home, which I'm doing now, obvs, which will probably take, oh, branch, I don't know, about 10 minutes or so. Do some work, go back, grab the car about nine-ish, and then head out to work. Oh, I can't wait till weekend. We're going to Londinium tomorrow, which will be Tres exciting. And I can't remember what I'm doing Sunday. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna concentrate on what I'm doing because being pregnant makes you a little bit wobbly on your feet. So I can't do two things at once anymore. Turn it on, honey, because you can. Air conditioning. Than ever. Air conditioning. <laughs> the bridges. Muppets take the O2. Hi, you're gonna see the mopeds. Wagga, wagga, wagga. Do you wanna get the O2 contact yet? <laughs> no. Reconnect my childhood, saw some really cool uh, sketches which kind of uh, reminded me of the TV shows. Um, Swedish Chef was the, the curveball act I was not good. expecting to be the TV was very good. Um, did a little cry when they did a Rainbow Connection song at the end, very emotional. Uh, it's was great, we saw steps. Yeah, last night they all got Kylie Minogue as a surprise guest. We got steps. Good afternoon, it's Sunday now and I am on my way down to Chambers Cocktail Company in Norwich for a cocktail masterclass, or mocktail in my case. I don't know if it's a good idea but I'm wearing a black max dress and 30 degree heat but it's the only thing that fits so for me now that means everything. Face. Yep, that is 100% true. I can do it. <laughs>
chocolate. Oh, okay. Dude. Oh, cocktail event leave with some flowers thank you molly she's so cute she gave us a congratulatory plant which i must not kill i've got to keep it alive until january so i can go in the baby's room um i had so much fun at chambers so much fun so hopefully you enjoyed seeing the cocktails that we made and hopefully you'll go visit for yourself they're very clever um mixologists they create a lot of their own ingredients and their own garnishes and they're all uh, handmade and it's just fantastic so highly recommend going for cocktails or mocktails oh, I can't walk and talk at the same time obviously I was drinking mocktails and they were just as good which was awesome so yeah if you're in Norwich and you fancy a nice high quality cocktail at a pretty good price I might add and they also have a happy hour which yeah, it's stick in your diary and go and have a look. Let's have a little garden update. So, raised flower bed is still under construction. We had a slight wall that fell down a bit. Um, but it's okay, it's got on it. But over here, more excitingly, this wall has not only been painted white, but we have our blinds up. This is what I was trying to tell you all about so basically they go that way can you demonstrate please assistance so you can have sun shade privacy yeah they look really good so, <laughs> I'm so impressed with them I think they look brilliant really good